cobbled together with a foul 25 and, uh, years yeah. ago. Yeah, All right. Shot in the dark. 904, Tom Green joins us. Hey. hey. All right, yeah. great to be here. This is exciting. You know what I love is he walks in. Tom yeah. Green walks in and goes, give me a Sleeman. Yeah, absolutely. So, so we did. Yeah, I, I thank you very much. It's uh, good to have a beer uh, before noon. I, 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 it's important. <laughs> or 9 a.m. Yeah, I, I remember that show you did. It, was like, it ran like three and a half hours, and you and Steve were really hammered. Yeah, absolutely. It's on my website, TomGreen.com. If you go there, I built this TV studio in my living room. Yeah. Steve-O comes on all the time. Yeah. And, uh, We've had a lot of crazy shows. I did a four and a half hour show with Steve-O on there. Is you, it, you were the inspiration for Jackass? Uh, you know, I, I don't know if that's... Uh, if I, think, it, I think you were. I, I mean, Steve-O has told yeah. me that. Steve-O has told me that. Uh, you know, he's been nice enough to come on the show many times. He's told me he watched the show a lot before they started to start it. I, well, I, they started their show right after I stopped my show when I got sick on MTV and I had to stop my show. But, you know, it's uh, it's... It's, there's similarities and there's differences, you know, for sure. I got a big fan on the. On the I, I missed your show by one day at Tempe. I was so pissed off, but my buddy went to see it. Frank, you there? Say hi to Tom Green. Hey, how are you? What's going on? You're calling from Arizona? Yeah, that was a great night. That was a great night. My parents uh, are snowbirds, and they go to. Well, the same thing we all do. They go much. to Arizona in the winter, and they got to come to my show at Tempe, and it was amazing. I've been on this world tour doing stand-up comedy. Tonight, I'm playing in Cal Are you going to come tonight in Calgary, yeah, absolutely. too? absolutely. I want to see the show, yeah. Yeah, we're at the, at the Laugh Shop. At you the know Black what, Frank, I, Frank, at the I think I gave you coffee some tickets for this, buddy. Now, tell everybody. Did you, did, you, did you enjoy the show in Tempe? Tell everybody. Yeah, don't give away any of the don't give away any of the jokes. Yeah, just just let them know that you had a good time. And outrage, outrageous, right? Ridiculous, unpredictable, uh, top topical. We we we've covered some so some social commentary in there. Yeah, absolutely. And, and beer was cheap too. I mean, you couldn't have beat the show. Uh, yeah, there was a lot, lot of beer flowing around. If you don't have any plans for tonight, and you don't go, and you don't go see the show, you're retarded. If you're retarded and you go, you're still going to enjoy the show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's really a win-win situation. Absolutely. I mean, five stars from Frank. There and and and, and we would even like to invite retarded people down as well. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We have a special yeah. section right yeah. in the yeah. back. We'll yeah. be there. <laughs> I get to, I get to find clothes yeah. for that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to make a section. Yeah. Tom, would you do something for me? Right? Yeah. My favorite movie. Well, well, one of my favorite movies, The Freddy Got Fingered. I absolutely love that. Yeah. Would you do it for me? Daddy, Daddy would you like some sausage? One more time. Daddy, would you like some sausage? Yes. Come on, yeah. Come on, Calgary. Daddy, would you like some sausage? Daddy, would you like some sausage? Come on, Calgary. Come on. Highlight of my career right Come on. there. Come on. There you go. That was awesome. Come on down. Road Trip, that was a great movie. Yeah, thank you very but much. I think the best thing, uh, your show was, was so unexpected. I, a guy said, have you, have you seen Tom Green? I went, Red Green, the guy with the hat and the, the canoe thing, and he goes, no, no, different guy. Have you seen the show? And I go, no, I haven't seen the show. I tuned in and I went, that is, I'd like to measure that guy's IQ because I bet you it's huge. That show was uh, probably like nobody had ever seen in Canada. And then you took it down to the stage and became a huge hit on MTV. Did you know you could do that? Uh, I didn't know I could do it. I, I just I just wanted to get out of my parents' basement, to be honest with you. Yeah. I, was, I moved into my... I think they agreed with you. Yeah, I took, I, I took television broadcasting at Algonquin College in Ottawa, Canada, and uh, my, me and my friends went to the public access station. We started doing this show. I moved back into my parents' basement so I could, you know, spend more time on, on editing and doing this, this show voluntarily. We did that for years and years and years, and then MTV picked it up. We certainly had hoped something like that would happen. It wasn't really, it, it really was much bigger than we had expected when it blew up on MTV and I got to do all the cool things I got to do. But uh, it's been amazing. It's been an exciting uh, thing, and, and it's led me to doing what I'm doing now, which is, is really a lot of fun. This TV show I'm doing in my, in my living room and the stand-up comedy tour sort of are working together. I'm traveling around the world. I'm filming. As I go, I'm going to film something tonight at the at the laugh shop and put it up on the web. And uh, you know, I just had this great tour in Australia. I just got back last week from a uh, month-long tour of the entire country of Australia. Did 16 shows, sold out all across the country. And it's funny because people all the way over there on the other side of the world know all these crazy bits that I shot here in Canada. Well, I, I think you know, with the with the internet, right? All your stuff has been you know, thrown up there, and people are talking about it, even if they didn't see the show. They'll go and see it on the internet. And, yeah. And then what? So if people want to see your new show. Where do they find that? 
Uh, you go to TomGreen.com. You can watch. You can, it's, the show's called Tom Green's House Tonight. There's hundreds of shows on there. We've had all sorts of great people on, like Pamela Anderson and Jimmy Kimmel and Kathy Griffin and Steve-O from Adam Jackass Carolla, and Adam, Adam Carolla. And literally hundreds of hundreds of people so have done the show. Living in Los Angeles, you have uh, access to all these great stars. You'll just pop by your house and film a segment. I've been kind of really lucky because I, I started the show. I invited people on that I thought were funny, and uh, a lot of people came. So it's, it's cool. I think people would just... Uh, we're interested in seeing what it is that I'm doing, you know, a show out of a living room well, like when that. You, when you sit back and you look at your career, and you, I mean, you've, you've done it all from, uh, you know, startup show on access to uh, testicular cancer, where you did, you know, it was a great special, by the way, when you did that. Yeah. It showed a whole different side of you. Yeah. You look back and, and, and just in retrospect and go, wow. Uh, you know, I just try to keep going, straight, keep going forward. I try not to focus too much on the testicular cancer. Well, I do, I do think a lot about the yeah. testicular cancer special. It's, it's a pretty shocking thing when you get testicular cancer. It's one of those things that you go, oh, I got testicular cancer? Oh, that's a pretty shocking thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get a nut removed on TV. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're the yeah. only dude I know that married Drew Barrymore. That, yeah. Don't forget about that. That's true, yeah. That's true. Friends? Yeah. Buddies? Well, I'm sure there will be many more, uh, uh, you know, so. What? Are you still friends? <laughs> uh, am I still friends with yeah. her? Yeah. Uh, no, not really. No, actually, not okay. really. Fair but, uh, but. No, uh, let's move on from there. Then. How about Monica? <laughs> Monica, back to meet the parents. Uh, she she was uh, she was she was a nice girl. She was funny. She was d dating one of the writers on my show, and uh, and uh, you know we uh, we brought her up to Canada and woke up my parents in the middle of the night. And, saw, uh, saw the same. That, that was a, that was a ridiculous. And I shouldn't say I'm not friends with Drew. I yeah. just I just haven't talked to her in seven years. I you know you. what I mean? Cool. But I'm not. It's not that I'm not friends with her. I don't have yeah. a problem with her or anything like that. Cool. It's a, you move on. You move on with your life. Things work. Are and you they, dating now? Uh, sure, yeah, absolutely. I'm looking for a nice in, in every city I'm looking for a nice girl in Calgary tonight. Yeah, come, on come on out. Come on out. He's got all the things up there. <laughs> need to find a, yeah, need to find another Canadian ex wife. So I gotta ask you what uh, what are Glenn Hump like and Phil Giroux up to these days? Phil Giroux's doing great. Those guys are doing good. They live in uh, Canada and they're they're those guys are high tech gurus, so they're doing really good and uh, they, they never really wanted to be in show business, so to speak. It I didn't kinda, seem like they had a choice. I kind of dragged them into it, kicking and <laughs> yeah. screaming. And now, now, they finally know, decided, this is ridiculous, i got to get out of Los Angeles. To take you on, uh, the, one, one of the best segments is when you're in a plane throwing the shit all over the place. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that was that was fun. My friend, my friend, my friend's father had a plane, so we figured, well, we got to use this plane. So we got, we we tricked my friend, my friend. We got all of his stuff from his apartment. Yeah. And uh, we loaded the plane up with his stuff, and then we made him think that he was going to go bury my mixing board from my uh, my recording studio. So he thought he was playing a joke Good on me, on and he was out in the field with a camera. You know, we, that was the fun of the show: was trying to figure <laughs> out ways to get cameras into situations where it didn't blow the the joke. So he thought he was out pulling a joke on me, burying my mixing board, and then. We flew over in a plane and dropped all this stuff. It's a, <laughs> you, can, you can see you can see it on TomGreen.com uh, and so, YouTube. So, is there a best of uh, DVD of, of Tom Green? Yeah, there's lots of them. There's lots yeah. of them. There's there's a lot of them flying around, and you can get them on, you can get them on my website. There's one that's called Inside and Outside the Box. You can uh, order it on the store on my website, and it's got all the old Canadian shows. All the crazy stuff that so we did. So pretty much go right to the website. You can find anything you want. Yeah, you can find it all on there. That's a good. It'll point you in the right direction to everything. Well, and you know uh, what? Uh, so nice to have you on the show. I admired everything you've done. You've done a great job, and I, I think you're the funniest guy in, in television. And uh, thank the show's you. Show's available tonight. Uh, go to the Black Friday. The last shot. Stein asked him about the. Go ahead. Shop. The I uh, one of my favorite yeah. episodes was the slut mobile. Where did you yeah, find the a body mobile. shop that would paint the slut mobile? Yeah, I found. A, you know, I found a, a guy that did the the the. 1970s van airbrush art yes. out in Greeley, Ontario, and uh, we actually bought a replica hood of the Honda 1992 Honda Accord. So this is how we did it because it, obviously the paint takes time to dry. I wonder. So we bought a hood. Yeah. We bought a hood for this was our big our big budget item. We bought a hood <laughs> no for kidding. a car, and uh, and we uh, in the middle of the night I took the car up to the the garage. We just swapped the hoods out. Brought it back, parked it in the driveway, and then when my parents got in the morning, they thought we'd wrecked the car. Really, we hadn't wrecked the car. And but it, they, was, it was lesbian yeah. porn, and it was done with perfect yeah. detail. The slut mobile. The slut mobile. Is it still around the car? I kept the hood. The yeah. car. The car. They, my parents sold the car a few years later, but I kept the hood. The hood still exists. 
I'll, I'll, I break the hood out every once in a while. It's on, it, on the website also. You can see a few episodes where we have the hood <laughs> hanging in the background of the. That's awesome. Fun. Awesome. What time does the show go tonight? Do you know? 8 to 10 30. 8 10 30? 8 uh, o'clock, 10 30. It's going to sell out. I'm going to get tickets as soon as you can. Where can you get them? The Laugh Shop Calgary. Laugh Shop Calgary. Calgary. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, you Tom can go to tomgreen.com and link through. If you click on the tomgreen.com World Stand Up Comedy Tour on tomgreen.com, you can link through to. The date here and uh, get your so tickets. He paid in. attention in college. He knows how to work the board. I know. I'm nervous. I'm gonna lose yeah. my job here. Oh yeah. What's 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 going on here? What do you have to do? You run the board. Oh you yeah. Know how to? So yeah, I can I'm kind of out of a job because you're far funnier than I am, and yeah. you know how to do my job. Yeah, I sort of do. You know, I, I, I don't. I, I, I know okay, that. Board. I worked in I worked in college radio for for about six or seven years. I did a phone in show on CHUO Radio 89.1 FM in Ottawa, and that's what sort of turned no, into. Wait, my... you worked at CQO. Uh, no, C H U O, C H U O, and then there's C K C U out there too. But uh, yeah, so I did I did my my college radio show for years. Started doing it when I was in high school. I sat at the board. I'd go there from midnight till six in the morning, sometimes taking phone calls. That's kind of what turned into my TV show. I love doing radio. Uh, no, you know what? I think it's a lot of fun having you on. Like I said, we're looking for two things tonight: a sold out show and a girlfriend for Tom. So yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh. Tom Green, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you, Calgary. See you tonight. It's gonna be crazy. Come on down. Oh! Oh!